Good afternoon, teachers. Today I'm going to give you a glimpse into a tool called Kia. Um, I'm going to be scheduling some Kia trainings. Um, that would be optional, but available for anyone who wants to come in and give this tool a try. But essentially, this can be used for um, review games, for skills practice of questions that you create or that you have available to you. Um, it can also be a, a wonderful formative assessment tool um, and also a summative assessment tool. Um, I've been using Kia for about four years in my own practice and my students really came to rely on it for um, the availability of review games outside of school. And so it wasn't just a worksheet that they had to use to review for a test. They could play the game, um, play a game in order to review. And um, Kia has a lot of different activities. They have an entire bank of shared activities, so you don't have to start from scratch. Um, if you click into shared activities, um, and you can do this by going to kia.com slash web, and then you can access the shared activities there without signing up for an account um, to see if there's um, any activities available to you. And you can come in and just take a look around if there is a tool that works well for you. Um, you can copy it right into your account. So if you are for example, um, teaching the metric system. You could click into this activity. You can play the activity to see if you like it. And then if you do like it, you can copy this to your account and then edit the questions or the answers to suit your needs by clicking this button. So once you do have an account, you can then copy it in and then make it accessible to your own students. I really like Kia for you know quick formative check-ins, um, because kids like to play games to review, so sometimes we would use it for review in class together or um, as a class or individually, or they could um, access this at home. Um, so you have Challenge Board, is the, that's who wants to be a millionaire style. They also have Battleship, which was another popular uh, format for gaming. And what happens is you plug in your multiple choice questions and then it generates this game for you. And then you just share the link with your students um, via your website or through Google Classroom or another um, method. And then they can then use it to play. Um, you could bring them into the computer lab to play the game together. Um, but these questions pop up and what they need to do is answer the question correctly in order to register the hit. So um, how did the decrease in farms affect rural Minnesota? And then if they get the answer wrong, um, this golden box pops up and they get another chance at the questions. So now we can say all options and then they can continue to find um, and get the rest of the, or sink the rest of the ship. So that is an, another example. You can also create quizzes. And in these quizzes, you can have different question formats and pull in a lot of the same questions that you may have used um, in your activities. And these are great for tracking progress and their self-grading. Um, you can also have short answer and essay questions that you grade yourself uh, before returning those um, to students. But the student does get immediate feedback according to what you want them to see at the end of a test, which is, is pretty handy. Um, so if you are interested in taking a look at this tool, shoot me an email and I will get you an access code to give this a try with your students this year. Um, also, um, to note, you, we have access to a network. So when you create a game or an activity or a formative assessment piece, you can make it accessible via the network and then shoot that out to other teachers that might want to use that tool, maybe in your team, grade level team, or somebody who teaches the same subject matter. Um, so you can you know, give these tools out to, each, to the different teachers without everybody having to create their own. Um, you can also use this in PLCs to collect data. So again, if you're interested in taking a look at this tool, um, you can let me know and I will get you the information on how to set up Kia um, and how to use it with your students. Um, you can also schedule a time with me to um, go through this step by step. Have a great day.